A group of people participated in a trial to test a new headache pill. 50% received the headache pill, 50% received a sugar pill. Two-fifths of the group receiving the headache pill were not cured, three-tenths of the group receiving the sugar pill were cured. First question, represent the information on a tree diagram. Okay, so when you do a tree diagram, you just need to look for categories. So here's our first category, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little dot and I'm gonna draw two lines. This one will be um, headache pull. These are people who received the headache pull and then these are the people who received a sugar pull. Now, the next category is the cured and not cured. So we're gonna put a two lines from each one. So this will be cured and this will be not cured. Or let's just say not. And then this will be um, cured and this will be not. So for example, if I go this way, that would be people who took a sugar pill and they were cured. If, for example, I go this way, this would be all the people who took a headache pill and they were cured, for example. So we know that it was a 50% sugar, 50% headache. So I'm gonna say one over two. Let's draw that a bit nicer. Um, one over two and one over two, okay? Now, two-fifths of the group who received the headache pill were not cured. So you see, headache, not cured. So headache, not cured, is this pathway here. So they're saying that this um, this part over here would be two over five. Now, you see this branch and this branch, they are one unit. Whenever you have one unit, it always adds up to one. So this would be three out of five, okay? Just like this branch and this branch is also one unit. And so if you add these two together, it will always add up to one. Okay, now they tell us that three-tenths of the group receiving the sugar pull were cured. So that's gonna be sugar and cured. So sugar and cured. So this branch is going to be three over 10. So we're gonna put three over 10 for this one, three over 10. That means this part here would have to be seven over 10, seven over 10, because three over 10 and seven over 10 is one. Right, so now we have all the different branches that we need. So we did 10.1.1, now this question says, determine the probability that a person chosen at random will not be cured. So there's two ways that a person can not be cured. They could take a headache pill, but maybe it doesn't work, so they're not cured. Or maybe they take a sugar pill, and that doesn't work, well, sugar pills don't really cure headaches, and then that would also not be cured. So whenever this happens, um, to work out the total of this branch, you will multiply the two numbers. So let's quickly do that. One over two multiplied by two over five. You see I multiplied this number and this number together, and that'll give you uh, one over five after you simplify. Then the green one is going to be one over two multiplied by seven over 10, which would give us seven over 20, okay? Then, if you have, what you then do with these two answers is you add them together. So one over five plus seven over 20, and that'll give 0 0.55 or 11 over 20.